Cycling can be confusing, especially if you're a beginner or new to cycling, then heading into your local bike shop or speaking to an experienced cyclist can feel like you're being spoken to in a foreign language. Well, fear not, because in this video, we're gonna give you a quick fire course in essential cycling jargon. After watching this, you'll feel comfortable asking a complete stranger to tighten your nipples, check the wear on your rim, and well, that's before we even get onto flanges. This is a, this is a flange. Here's what we deem to be essential vocabulary to help you understand cyclists and become one yourself. To keep things simple, we'll do it in alphabetical order, beginning with A, which is for aero. If you're new to cycling, trust us, aero is everything. Aero is all encompassing. The more aero you are, the faster you go. A is also for attack, which is when a rider suddenly sprints or rides harder to gain a gap from a group of other riders in order to get an advantage. Typically riders attack towards the end of a race or at the base of a climb. B can stand for bottom bracket and that's the part inside your frame here which houses bearings allowing your cranks to turn. Bonk is a term used in cycling to describe completely running out of energy and can be avoided by making sure you've eaten and drunk enough. C. Loads of things on bikes begin with C. Cassette, that's the collection of small sprockets and gears on your rear wheel. Chain set, like this. And then on the chain set, you have the crank arm. Onto that, your pedals screw into your crank arms. We also have calipers. This is the part of the brake that's the caliper. It can be rim, like this, or a disc brake caliper, slightly different. Chain, self-explanatory. And then on the frame itself, this part of the frame is a chain stay. While you're pedaling as well, the rate at which you turn your legs is measured in revolutions per minute, and that's known as your cadence. Drops are the part of your handlebar, which you can hold onto here. D is also for your derailleur, which allows you to change gear, and also for your down tube, which is this part of your bike. E is for Eddie Merckx, my, my hero and, and the goat. That's not even a bike part. Shut up, don't disrespect the goat. F is for flange, which is this part of your hub where the spokes are attached to. Incidentally, also one of Ollie's favorite words. F is also for flat, and that can be where your tire goes completely down. G is for group set. This is the collective term for all the components that attach onto your bike frame uh, or your wall if you live in GCN Megabase. H is for hubs, and that's this central part of your wheel, also where the flanges are, but the hub is the entire centre part, which also houses the bearings. H is also for headset, and that's this part here at the front of your bike, which houses bearings, allowing you to steer. I is for ID match, which is a high-tech bike fitting tool. There are others, but I was just struggling to think of things that began with I. Also for indexing, which is the art of tuning your gears so that they shift J is for jockey wheel, which are these two small wheels here which guide your chain through the gear set. J is also for jersey, because when you're out cycling, you don't wear a t-shirt, you wear a cycling specific jersey, which incidentally has got handy pockets in the back to store your cycling goods. K is for KOM, or King of the Mountains, which is the fastest male up a given hill. L is for lube or chain lube, and that's used to put onto your chain to keep it in optimal condition and rust free. L also stands for LBS or your local bike shop, and these are your friends. M is for mech, which is another word for derailleur, and uh, it's also for Mercs, the, the greatest of all time. It's Go. still not. Shut up. N is for nipple, and that's this part here which connects your spokes to the external part of the wheel called the rim. Olives, this is a tiny little part that creates a seal on your disc brake hoses and stops the fluid leaking out. P can be for pads or brake pads, which are housed within your brake and are the part that contacts the wheel when you brake in. And on a disc brake bike, they're located at the back in the caliper here. P is also for peloton, which is the word used to describe a large collection of cyclists. It's also for Presta valve, which is this type of valve. Q stands for quick release, or QR for short. This is the cam-based lever that holds your rim brake wheels in place 
on your bike. Also stands for QOM, or Queen of the Mountain, which is the fastest female up a given hill. R is for rim, which is the external part here of your wheel where your tyre is attached to. It can also stand for rotor, which if you've got disc brakes, is the metal braking surface on the centre of the wheel. Lots of things begin with S, starting with seat post. Slots into your frame and your saddle, which also begins with S, fits onto the top of your seat post. Your stem connects your handlebars to your frame and forks. They're available in different lengths so that you can tune the fit of your bike to be perfect for you. We also have shifters. Now the shifters allow you to shift gear, but also brake. These attach onto your handlebars. T can mean tubeless, and many modern bikes come with tubeless tyres or tubeless ready tyres, and that means they don't require an inner tube. T also stands for top tube, which is this part of your bike. U is for UCI, aka the fun police, the governing body of the sport, and the main reason why the bikes we ride look like this and don't look like this. V is for valve, and that's this part here which allows you to pump your tyres up. V also stands for velo, which is French for bike. W is for wheel. Yep, it's also for weight weenie. That's someone who obsesses about making their bike as light as possible, and it is for watt. Watt being a unit of power, and the way that cyclists measure and quantify how powerful they are. They do this by fitting a power meter to their bike. They can be fitted to various different locations. X? Mm, CX or cyclocross. It's basically road bikes ridden off road, and it is the Belgian national sport. I know it's C, but if you've got any good ones, let me know in the comments section. Y is for yellow jersey. The leader of the Tour de France wears one, and yellow pretty much everything else as well, including shoes. In fact, these are Tade Pogacar's shoes. Z is for Zonkalan, regarded by many as the world's toughest climb in cycling. Z can also stand for Zwift, which is an online platform allowing you to ride your bike virtually whilst at home. Well, there you have it our essential bike vocab. Learn all these and you'll be one step closer to becoming a hardcore road cyclist. And if you want to learn some essential maintenance tips and how-tos, then why not check out the GCN Tech channel and consider subscribing to it. We also have our essential road bike maintenance book, which will help you solve most common problems you might have with your bike. Available from Shop.GlobalCyclingNetwork. See you in the next one.